going to make a wireframe from the screenshots we did of the WordPress website. Click on the, the actual image, and we don't want it to move around, so right-click on it and then click on Lock. All right, so now we can't click on that anymore. I mean, we can, but it won't move around, which is good. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is Shapes. Click on the shape, get a square, and we're going to click on the border over here. We're going to do line. One point is fine. Then I want to do um, a white fill. There we go. Let's bring this up to the top up here and click and drag. This is going to be our banner area. Then instead of doing all that information one more time, all we have to do is click on Alt, drag to copy. And let's make this one smaller. There we go. Like I said before, Alt, drag, Alt, drag. There we go. And let's zoom in a little bit. Let's click on, uh, let's zoom in. That's 300% is good. I'm going to click on this one. And then I'm going to Alt, drag and make this one smaller. For a header, alt drag, and then alt drag one more time, and then make this one bigger. That's going to be our text. All right, and then we can click, shift click, shift click, and then alt drag, and then alt drag again. And that's how we get things done quicker. Let's go back to 100%. So we got to just keep on doing that. Uh, we'll take this one. Let's do an alt drag up here to the logo. And then an alt drag over here for the hamburger menu. All right, so keep on doing that through the whole entire website. And then we want to get text. And this right here will be, we'll name this banner with tagline. And that might be too big, so we'll select the type and then bring that type down a little bit. There we go. Banner with tagline. And then we'll do one up here. We'll name this one logo. So you want to name everything. And then click Alt, drag. And we'll name this one hamburger menu. And keep doing that all the way through the website. We can make this one a little smaller, bring that down to like 10 pixels, this one a 10 point, and then we can bring this down to 10.2, not 10.2, but 10 point also. <laughs> and then we can take this one, alt drag it, this is an image, and then uh, click on it, drag, um, press any alt, and alt drag, alt drag. And then this one, this is the header, this is the text, this is the read more, this will be for a story, this one will be for something else, and this one will be for navigation. When you're all done, you can get rid of, you can, un, you can go back to uh, unlock your final one. You can delete that and then take one of these, alt drag, bring that up to the top up here and then drag it all the way to the bottom, and then send that to the back, and then you'll have a cool looking wire frame. You know, finish it off, do the other parts here. I didn't do them all because I wanted to get the video done quick. The assignment calls for three wire frames. This is the home page. We want to duplicate the slide twice. This could be the, I don't know, services page. You want to get rid of these pieces down here. This is the footer. We don't need that. Now you're going to maybe do something else like, uh, let's get rid of some of these down here. I'm going to click on the back one back here and lock it. So I can just click and drag. And this is going to be an image. Your image might be bigger. And then you're going to have uh, text here. Write that down. We're going to name, name that text. And then we'll bring this one over here. You might uh, have 
some type of um, blog links over here, maybe navigation links. And then you'll do this page where you might have products. Your uh, right click on that back one again and lock it. And then delete this part. And then you might um, have products that you want to do. And you want three products. Uh, I want to write product in here. All right. And then I want to select both of these and shift and click. Uh, da, 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 alt click, drag. Oops. And then alt drag again. And then selecting all those, alt drag again. All right. Now, I don't expect you to do these. This is not the theme that you're looking for to do, um, but this is just a sample. And now we can export for PDF for the class file, export PDF, click on best, and then next. And then we're going to name it, export it. And then I can right click, open with Adobe Acrobat. Make sure it opens up in Adobe Acrobat when you send it to me. Open it up yourself. You have the home page, the next page, and the next page. All three pages are working. Now you can submit that as your homework.